Hey yo, it's your boy, Jimmy Fallon, here to talk about the one and only iShow Speed. This guy has been making waves all over the internet and now he's taking his show on the road. This internet sensation has been tearing it up online and guess what? He's not just staying behind the screen anymore. He decided to take his talents on the road for an epic Asian tour. That's right, Speed is going global and his first stop is none other than the vibrant continent of Asia. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the vibrant markets of Bangkok, Speed's been bringing his infectious energy to fans all over the continent. He's been exploring new cultures, trying out local delicacies, and of course, meeting his fans. But hold up, things were about to get even wilder because the Speedster had his sights set on a country known for its incredible culture, passionate fans, and delicious food. Indonesia, this place is a melting pot of traditions and modernity, and Speed was ready to dive right in. Speed's fans in Indonesia, known as the Indonesian Speed Army, were hyped beyond belief. They had been waiting for this moment for months, and their excitement was palpable. They flooded social media with welcome messages, fan art, and even traditional Indonesian dances dedicated to their hero. The creativity and passion of the Indonesian Speed Army were on full display. The anticipation was building, and when Speed's plane finally touched down in Jakarta, the whole city felt the energy. The airport was packed with fans holding signs, cheering, and waving Indonesian flags. It was a grand welcome for a global star. Now, Speed didn't waste any time. Straight from the airport, he went live on his stream, greeting his millions of viewers with his signature catchphrase, What's up, my slimes? But this wasn't just any live stream. Speed was broadcasting directly from Kota Tua, Jakarta's historic old town. Picture this ancient Dutch colonial buildings, bustling street vendors selling Indonesian delicacies. And in the middle of it all, I show speed, larger than life, interacting with fans and soaking up the atmosphere. He was trying everything from spicy sambal to sweet martabak, all while cracking jokes and making his viewers feel like they were right there with him. Word on the street spread faster than a plate of nasi goreng, and it wasn't long before the entire city was buzzing with excitement. Soon, Kota Tua was flooded with Indonesian fans, eager to catch a glimpse of their idol. The energy was electric, and the atmosphere was nothing short of a festival. Everywhere you looked, there were speed fans rocking his merch, chanting his name, and hoping to snag a selfie with the YouTube megastar. The streets were a sea of excitement and anticipation. And you know what? Speed loved every minute of it. He was in his element, soaking up the adoration and giving back just as much energy. He was blown away by the love and support from his Indonesian fans. The sheer number of people who turned up to see him was overwhelming and he couldn't stop smiling. He even hopped off his live stream for a bit to meet and greet as many people as he could, signing autographs, taking pictures, and even learning a few Indonesian phrases. It was a day to remember for everyone involved. Let me tell you, his subscriber count shot up faster than a rocket. The numbers were climbing at an unbelievable rate reflecting the massive support from his Indonesian fans. Indonesia, you guys are the real deal. Your enthusiasm and support have made a huge impact and Speed couldn't be more grateful. This is just the beginning of an incredible journey together. Now, one thing you gotta love about Speed is his curiosity. He's always down to learn about new cultures and Indonesia was no exception. While exploring Kota Tua, he stumbled upon a vendor selling beautiful batik shirts 
a traditional Indonesian fabric known for its intricate patterns and vibrant colors. Speed was immediately intrigued by the unique designs and asked the vendor where batik came from. The vendor, a proud Indonesian, proudly proclaimed that batik originated in Indonesia. Now, here's where things got interesting. Speed, with his playful and sometimes mischievous personality, decided to stir the pot a little. He jokingly insisted that batik actually came from another country, sparking a hilarious debate with the vendor. Section 5. Lost in Translation Speed's Hilarious Mishaps with Bahasa Indonesia But you know what? It was all in good fun. In fact, the language barrier only added to the comedy. Speed tried his best to communicate in Bahasa Indonesia, the Indonesian language, but let's just say his pronunciation needed a little work. His attempts to say Terima Kasi, thank you, had everyone in stitches. But hey, that's part of what makes Speed so endearing, right? He's not afraid to laugh at himself, and he embraces the awkwardness with open arms. And you know what they say, laughter is the best way to bridge cultural divides. Section 6. From Kota Tua to Our Hearts, Speed's Indonesian Legacy. Speed's visit to Kota Tua wasn't just about the laughs and the live streams, though. It was a journey that transcended the digital screen, bringing virtual connections into the real world. It was a testament to the power of connection in the digital age. In a world where screens often separate us, Speed managed to bridge that gap, creating a sense of community and belonging. Here was a young man from the United States who had built a global community through his online presence, and he was now experiencing the tangible impact of that connection in one of the most vibrant corners of the world. His presence in Kota Tua was more than just a visit. It was a celebration of unity and shared experiences. He showed his millions of viewers the beauty of Indonesian culture, from the intricate art forms to the lively street markets. His dreams were filled with moments of discovery and appreciation. The warmth of its people who welcomed him with open arms and genuine smiles. It was clear that the connection he felt was mutual and the sheer joy of human connection, regardless of language or background. Laughter and joy were universal languages that needed no translation. And you know what? He left a little piece of his heart in Kota Tua, a place that had embraced him so warmly. And he took a piece of Indonesia with him when he left. The memories, the friendships, and the experiences would stay with him forever, a testament to the lasting impact of genuine human connection. Section seven, bridging cultures, one laugh at a time. The power of iShow Speed. Speed's Indonesian adventure was a whirlwind of laughter, cultural exchange, and pure, unadulterated fun. He showed the world that even in today's increasingly divided world, laughter and shared experiences can still bring people together. He might be known for his gaming skills and his over the top personality, but at his core, iShow Speed is a connector. He's a reminder that no matter where you're from or what language you speak, a shared laugh can create a bond that transcends borders and cultures. Section 8. Beyond the live stream, Speed's impact on Indonesia's youth. And you know what else? Speed's visit had a real impact on Indonesia's youth. He inspired countless young people to embrace their creativity pursue their passions and connect with the world around them. He showed them that anything is possible if you're willing to put yourself out there, be yourself and never stop dreaming. And that's a message that resonates far beyond the realm of gaming or online entertainment. Section 9. Until next time, speed. Indonesia awaits your return. So, to iShow Speed, 
From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you for the laughs, the memories, and the reminder that we're all connected in this crazy, beautiful world. Indonesia will always welcome you with open arms. Until next time, speed. Keep on shining, keep on laughing, and keep on inspiring. Peace out.